these items. This is from the previous year. So this I can throw away. Then I start with the syringe. And I look for a black triangle which tells me this is the place where I should open the packet. So I use the black triangle as a guide, then I peel that back. And this I can throw away. So there will be two items, the needle and the cap, and these go into the bin. Then we have this part, this is important. So, there's a small gap at the top there. We have to close that gap by squeezing or by pulling it out and pushing it up to the top. Then we take this part and we undo. This we can throw away. While this part goes on to here and we rotate it like that until it clicks into place. Then we look for a part which I can't find. I think it's in this here. This is the connector and this is necessary. What I do is I use a pair of scissors because I can't use my hands so easily to open this packet. So I open that with the scissors like that. And then I squeeze from the top. Which gives me the connector. And this connector then I put onto this syringe and twist it until it's locked. So I push down and twist which locks it in place. I now can take this syringe containing the epimorphine, pull the rubber cap off, and then put this into the connector. Then my thumb is on the very top part and I can press downwards. And then I can squeeze and squeeze. So I'm holding the main part of the body, squeezing till as much as possible is in there. Then I turn this syringe and take the rubber cap I removed previously. and throw this into the bin. Next, we have this part, which has two things inside it. There's an arrow, which I can point to, and then take this part, which is the cannula needle, and this part, which is the connector, the plastic I can throw away. So we'll start with this which I have to separate this waste. Then this has two parts. This part will go on to there. So now though before it can do this by the way that's also trash we look at the top of the syringe 
and now we have to undo it. So we turn it and release it. Then we look for the connector part. This thing goes into the top. We turn and squeeze. That's now holding that firmly. So this part is almost ready. There's one thing we haven't got, or we have to remove. We squeeze this part. That part goes in the trash. Now the cannula. First, we have to remove the lock. This part by squeezing it and pulling it out. Next, we have to decide which side of the stomach to put this on. So, now I have to remove the shirt and I remember that yesterday the left side was used so, I have to turn this around and peel off this cover, like this, and then this flat edge goes towards the belly button, like this, and then I squeeze the red button, like so. And this leaves the cannula embedded in my skin with the stomach fat behind it. So this part can now be thrown away. And now I can close this part like this. I can take this blue part to the side and now we can switch the machine on. Currently it says off but now we're going to switch it on. So to do that there's a red circle with a plus inside. I press and hold until I hear it beep. You ready? That was it. By pressing and holding that and waiting a few moments, it's now ready. But to continue, I have to make sure that the apomorphine is flowing correctly through this. So to do that, I use the button on the left that's marked D and P. So I press that, and now I look at the end of this thing in my right hand, and there should be a small drop there. That drop tells me it's now going through the pipe. So this part can now be turned around and plugged in to my cannula. Like that. Next, I can take this part and put this around my neck. But the easy way to do this is to take it up behind my shirt and put it over my head. Then I lower the shirt and my job is now done. So I put this back and I'm ready to carry on with my day. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. This was the changing of... Oh, yeah. This was the changing of the apomorphine cannula.